The laser has long been a favorite of science fiction, but today's laboratory lasers are taking research to worlds beyond science fiction, allowing for the dynamic investigation of matter itself. Imagine being able to explore a single molecule using laser light to reveal the movements of electrons in real time, designing non-invasive medical techniques to perform surgery at the molecular level. This is the revolutionary potential which lies at the heart of the Advanced Laser Light Sources Laboratory. The world-class facility will be located in Varennes, near Montreal, at the University of Quebec's National Institute for Scientific Research. The Advanced Laser Light Source project is unique because we are bringing a full set of different technology under one roof. And uh, it's a multidisciplinary project, it's an international one, and that's uh, uh, having a lot of application in different fields, going from material science to biochemistry, including medical application. And uh, well, having everything under one roof is really, uh, is really uh, unique in the world. So that's uh, some kind of Canadian leadership in this field. The ALS project promises to significantly extend Canada's leadership role in this vital field. The challenge of molecular science demands that international, multidisciplinary teams of researchers collaborate to unleash the hidden power of ultra-fast laser light. The dream is to build a laser that is multi-purposed enough to do almost anything you want to do in this micro world of atoms and molecules. I mean, and that's where we live, right? We're made up of atoms and molecules. What's more important than being able to look at and manipulate and photograph and take movies of the micro world? So, and that's, this is the Canadian dream. Nobody's trying to do this like we are. With the new multi-beamed laser and its supporting infrastructure, leading scientists plan to develop new photonic applications for enhanced telecommunications networks. Current medical equipment could be dramatically reduced in size through the use of future light-powered microchips and imaging systems. From materials science to biological studies, Canadian researchers at Varenne will be at the forefront in the realm of laser-based research. Countless generations have looked to the sky for clues to the origins of the universe. Today, radio astronomers are extending our knowledge of the farthest reaches of space with ever more powerful tools of observation. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array is regarded by international consensus as the most important development in radio astronomy for the next 20 years. ALMA, as it's called, is the first of the New World Observatories costing over one billion dollars to construct. Here in the high mountainous plains of Chile, the massive array will, for the first time, give radio astronomers the ability to make observations of the universe at the millimeter wavelength level. ALMA will enable studies of the earliest processes of star and planetary development. Canadian researchers will now have access to the largest millimeter wave telescope in the world. This is a golden age for astronomy. Astronomers in Canada and around the world want to understand how the universe we see around us today was formed and evolved from the Big Bang 14 billion years ago. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array will let us see the first galaxies as they emerge from the early universe and will also let us see planets form around nearby stars. This is a huge leap forward. Uh, these events cannot be seen with existing technology. The Hubble Telescope has provided unprecedented optical images from deep space. Soon, ALMA will have the capacity to produce radio images that are 10 times more defined. As part of a 15-country program, Canada's participation in ALMA will secure our position as one of the top three nations involved in this vital area of academic research. It also acts as a stepping stone to future global initiatives in radio astronomy. Canada has committed to providing certain elements. The Americans are providing certain elements. Europe 
is now committed to bringing in their expertise and putting it all together in a major coordinated project to build this telescope, which is going to be built in Chile, not just by chance, but because the conditions for seeing uh, the atmospheric conditions in particular are the best possible site, uh, are at the best possible site in the world. By participating in fundamental, decades-long research projects such as this, Canada will maintain its stature as a country actively engaged at the forefront of astronomy. Whether the goal is to build safer aircraft, design emission-free automobiles, or peer inside living cells, neutron scattering technology can be a benefit to many research disciplines. This massive construction site will soon be home to the world's most powerful source of neutron beams for materials research. The Spallation Neutron Source in Oak Ridge, Tennessee will allow Canadian researchers and their international partners the ability to study materials at the atomic level without damaging the materials. Neutron scattering technology permits examinations which are currently impossible to perform, such as analyzing the moving parts in machinery. The Spallation Neutron Source will be a centerpiece for material science through the first half of the 21st century, and Canadian scientists and engineers will be major players in this exciting science project. We will be involved in developing two new neutron instruments with unprecedented capabilities for discovering the microscopic origin of the properties of materials. We expect to exploit this knowledge to develop the next generation of materials for a wide range of applications, including information processing, transportation, energy storage, and medicine. The spallation process employs an immense tunnel called a linear accelerator, where hydrogen ions are projected at enormous speed into an accumulator ring. The ring concentrates the ion stream into an intense beam that is then targeted at free-floating atoms of liquid mercury. The resulting collision produces an abundant supply of neutrons for materials research. The neutrons are then channeled along 24 beam lines to power research stations positioned around the central distribution hub. The Spallation Neutron Source will provide the most intense pulse neutron beams in the world and is expected to attract between 1 and 2,000 users each year from all over the world. By collaborating with international institutions early on, we hope to bring the world's knowledge and expertise to the development stages of the facility. Working with the Canadian research community and the Canada Foundation for Innovation expands the scope of research that will be conducted here at SNS and opens the door for greater scientific discoveries in the future. At Oak Ridge, Canadian researchers are assured of 10 years access to the most advanced neutron facility in the world. Neutron scattering technology will enable them to participate fully among the front ranks in international materials research. Just as artists need the studio space and the proper tools to complete their craft, so too do research scientists require the apparatus and facilities to enable their quest for new knowledge. The Canada Foundation for Innovation is very interested in ensuring that Canadians not only have the tools to do their own research, but in our programs to do with international work, we want to be sure that they have the opportunity for collaboration. And this will open many, many doors with other institutions and other parts of the world. By fully participating in large-scale collaborative research programs, Canadian researchers and their international partners continue to steadily reshape the raw materials of observation and theory into new worlds of understanding.